Ow. Ow. All right. Hello and welcome back, my lovelies. I'm once again Visual Pony, and we are playing Parasite Eve. Okay, I have grinded a little bit around this area, also to, you know, look around. And I must tell you this one little gripe that I have with this game. <clears throat> you know, I'm playing it on, on an emulator. I would love to play it on original hardware, but the discs for this game are like uh, <clears throat> 150 euros. I wanted to add it to my physical collection, but uh, yeah. Mm. So the thing is, with a lot of multi-disc games that I've played, it is no problem. You put the disc in the second disc, let's say, and it will at least boot you up to the menu, and then you can load your save game. With this, this is not the case. This game will not get you at least to the menu. So, I had to create a safe state right here. Let me just press the load button. There you see. After I ran around and actually found this door here. Another door that we had to open with a clamp key. Um, and then hope that it didn't crash because I ran around here for about an hour. And... Yeah, that was slightly annoying. But what, what what I will do now is I will Yep. Dumping all of these things into item capacity. Because we are getting so much stuff. Mostly medicine though. Which I find kinda you know hilarious. So let's continue where we, I think, are supposed to go. I was in here, yes. But I only, like, came through the door and then I was like, okay. This seems like some somewhere where I, Okay. Where I haven't been before. Okay, so... I think I was right in that assumption. That would be new. Me being right. What the hell? Did you eat a battery? You know that's not good for your diet, right? Ow. 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 Uh, okay, let's heal. Holy crap, Bucket! This thing hurts! Okay, I'm not doing very well against that thing. Wow, you hurt, dude. Um. Ooh, okay. Ow, is that thing a homing attack? That's not unfair at all. Okay, managed to not get hit this time. Let's just, you know, just in case I don't want to die to a headless triceratops. Got him. 
parasite powers have evolved liberate. Liberate's mitochondrial control. Okay. Also, just so you know, I have tried um, Maeda's gun while I was grinding, and it was absolutely useless. Like, it did nothing. Oh, goodness, I just killed you! Don't do that! Ugh. Yeah, that was a... Oh, don't tell me I now have to fight Rexy. My body feels like it's going to burn up. I just... Okay, and there's the T-Rex. Hey, Rexy. <laughs> Call me Dino Slayer. No, Rexy, I'm not your breakfast. I know you're hungry after 65 million years, but, uh, you know. Oh, goodness. Okay, so a fire-breathing Tyrannosaurus. I mean, can it get any cooler? Ow! You hurt, Rexy. You hurt. What have I ever done to you? I'm only shooting you with ice grenades. Just trying to, you know, put you back to rest. You really, really are an ungrateful little lizard, aren't you? Well, you aren't even technically a lizard, you know, because you don't have... Well... I was about to say you don't have scales, but he would have scales if... Why am I even thinking about it having scales? It's a mitochondrial monster. Also, let's see. Uh, liberate. Let's see what that actually... What is that? Holy shit! That did... A whole lot of damage. And he's still not dead! Ow! 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 Okay. Uh. That did a whole bunch of damage. And it didn't kill him! But put me a. And I got another level up, but. Holy crap, did you see how much damage that did? And I got a new weapon. Um, I mean, what's the... I just killed a freaking T-Rex by transforming into a mitochondrial angel. I mean, what the hell? And what is that? Dual wield? Is that what I'm getting there? Can I dual wield this gun? If so, I want it. <laughs> um, let me actually... Where are you? There. Uh, how can I... Uh, wait, uh, if I use a tool, like, can I think... Have a look at it. Enter two commands. <laughs> huh. Uh, 
And I could technically... Would have the same amount of attack with a plus 26. Would be... No. Yeah, it would be 83 as well. Plus 12. Would be... Less range. I'll think about it. I'll, I'll just think about it. But... Entering two commands. That's... Interesting. I guess. But now I killed the T-Rex. So... There's not much left for me to do, I guess. Uh, use item. And heal two. Come on. Elevator. So, usually I'd say don't use the elevator if there's a mitochondrial monster lurking around the place. You know? Uh, she has trapped us in a basement before. That episode, Elevators Are Evil, was not a joke. <laughs> At least it was not meant to be one. And... Okay. Okay, we have to fight. Fight, 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 fight. Huh, you damn raptors, I just killed a T-Rex. What do you think you can do? No, seriously, what do they think they can do that would, uh, you know, seriously endanger me? <laughs> because I just killed the T-Rex. The same with you, pterodactyl. I'll have your wings. For lunch. Really? Before I stream? Uh, before I record, I mean. Another medicine three. I, by the way, I have no idea where to go. Because that door upstairs is still, you know, inaccessible to us. Maybe I have to go where that uh, Triceratops pulled me out of. Hmm. <laughs> if that is the case, then I'm completely going the wrong way right now. Oh no, I'm actually going the right way. Apparently. Because here is where the Triceratops pulled us out of. And he stopped us from going here. Oh, 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 what's happening? Oh no, please don't tell me they... Uh oh. Okay, it's just shaking. I thought for a second there she was bringing all of them back to life. That would have been... bad. Really bad. You know, let's just see what happens if I activate this with several enemies. Holy shit, she just kills everything. But hey, there's another one right there. 
would you please hit that guy too? Like, that guy here, this one. Because those two are definitely dead. But no, she didn't hit that one. <laughs> okay, but serious. <laughs> he said attack is OP. That attack is simply OP. <laughs> okay, here's another door that is gunked up. But can I get in there through here? I really hope so. It looks like it. Okay, can get over here. Eve's on the other side. Yes, of course she is. That's why we are here. <sighs> Eve! Oh, you gotta love that early 90s or late 90s, early 2000s CGI. So creepy. <laughs> Don't wake the baby. <sighs> you know, if if not for the whole burning people stuff, then I think Eve would just want to be, you know left alone. It's a wonder you made it this far. <laughs> so, are you going to congratulate me on this birth? What are you trying, uh, planning to do, Eve? Hmm. Perhaps you can help me answer that, Aya. Why do humans give birth? Hmm? <laughs> Maya. Aya, why are you even talking to her? That, that's what I want to know. You have a gun in your hand. Why are you even talking to her? <sighs> that is the question. Why even talk to that bitch? You know, you can always shoot her. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Do we have a goopy marshmallow man situation? Yes, we have a goopy marshmallow man situation. That is not good. Fire your gun. Shoot. Girl. That's what guns are for. Why didn't you shoot? Are, are you okay, Aya? Aya. Daniel. Maida. You both made it out okay. Yeah, we barely made it, though. So. Did you see that ugly mama? That... that was everyone from Central Park. What? Then you're saying that Lorraine's a part of that thing, too? I'm sorry, Daniel. Uh, yes. It has become apparent as to what medication Melissa had been taking. What was she on? She was being administered immunosuppressants. Immunosuppressants? For what? Why? Here's the story. Melissa had a transplant when she was a kid. Transplant? What kind of transplant? Yes, it seems that she got one of your sister's kidneys. After Maya died in an accident. A kidney transplant? So Melissa got... Maya's kidney? 
Apparently. Your mother and your sister were donors. What? Really? I never knew that. Your mother's organs couldn't be transplanted after the accident. So Maya's kidney was transplanted into the young Eve. No, I'm sorry, the young Melissa. She had kidney failure. Then Eve's kidney is really Maya's kidney? The intern that was present at the operation was, you guessed it, Hans Clamp. Our main man, Clamp, wanted to become a doctor. The doctors that were present during the operation were all surprised and they were all and they all screamed that the kidney was hot. Huh. Hot kidney, you say, huh? Well, if you're into that, I guess. <laughs> then Eve is... It's hard for me to say, but the original was present in Maya. Eve killed the host brain, cultured the kidney and obtained her own physical body. Then, that's what happened to Melissa. In her case, the immunosuppressant drug served to act as a catalyst. In Japan, Eve targeted a girl who had undergone a transplant. A kidney transplant to be exact, and she was taking the same immunosuppressant drugs. This was all so that Eve would have a uterus to plant the fertilized egg. In order to transplant organs, it is necessary for the HLA type to match. It lives symbiotically with other cells, so it's necessary to take immunosuppressants to control the immunity and avoid rejection. While being controlled by Eve, Melissa felt her body change, but she finally got the lead part in the opera. If she had gone to a doctor, she would have been told to give up the part. So in order to avoid rejection, she kept taking the drugs, and after taking so much, she was so weak that Eve was able to take over her physical body. And that's how she transformed into Mitochondria Eve. Ah. The thing is, it actually all makes scientific sense in a way. So then, Maya is... Maya's the original Eve. In reality, it's Maya's Mitochondria. Well, isn't that a revelation, guys? <laughs> Roger, commencing operation, sir. Finally, the time has come to put our power to the test. Don't be impudent, Lynch. It shouldn't have come to this. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, forgive me, Admiral. Calling all fighter jets. We have just received permission to attack. Commence operation. Head for the Statue of Liberty. As planned, Helicopter Team 1 will prepare for Plan 2. Team 2 will search and the rest will do their best to impede further advancement. I do not like that. What? Are you sure? The Navy's made their move. What? We can't allow this. We'll be repeating what happened yesterday with the jets. Yeah, mm, those jet fighter pilots didn't really have um, the best of time. No, Lorraine, Lorraine can't be part of that thing. I'm afraid she is. The huge creature, oh uh, no, those cells, that must be by Eve's giving birth. 
where she's giving birth? Yes, the huge creature will act as a barrier to protect the ultimate being. Okay, then we have to destroy those cells, I guess. Uh, okay, yeah, those guys didn't have a good day. They died for their country. Uh, impressive barrier, Eve. Very impressive barrier. I must admit that. Lorraine! The helicopter's coming! Uh oh. Everyone, deck! Cover your heads and. I cannot move, by the way. Is the game derping out on me? No, there's someone coming. Officer Breyer of the NYPD, correct? Ma'am, it is my duty to accompany you to the aircraft carrier. Accompany her? To the what? Uh, I have a feeling we are close to the end here. Welcome aboard the Navy's pride and joy, the Nimitz. I'm Williams. I command this ship. Sorry to have you come on such short notice. Hey, you better not put Aya in danger here. You! Who do you think you are talking to the Admiral that way? It's quite alright, Lynch. After all, he is right. What, uh, what do you mean? You're the... You're the... You're the only one that can't be ignited by her. I'm asking you to get in our chopper and nuke the creature. Hold on, Aya can't fly a helicopter. Not to worry, the chopper's been set to auto. She won't have any problems. So, so she just needs to fire from a distance, where she can't be ignited? Unfortunately, the weapon needs to be fired at close range in order to work. And we cannot move in that close since we will be ignited. Well... Uh, I'll do it. Aya, no way! You're not going up there! Our fate lies in your hands, Aya. Um, no pressure, guys. No pressure. Okay, Daniel? That thing, that's not Lorraine. Do it for Lorraine too, Aya. W wait, Aya, please take this. Are you going to give me another charm? Come off it, man. We don't have time for that right now. <sighs> yes, of course. Uh, Aya, please be careful up there, okay? Of course, I'll be fine. I doubt it. You just learned that this monster was basically born from your sister's kidney. You are not fine, girl. I don't have the best relationship to my sister, okay? But even I would hesitate here if I knew that this was like a being born from my sister's cells. I would still hesitate here because she is still my sister, you know? We don't have the best relationship to each other, but if my sister came calling and was like, Hey, I really need your help. I would help. I would come running. Because she's my sister. And as much as we might want to rip each other's heads off, I do still love her.
Yeah, I kind of like my new camera placement. Now you can see more of me. Hehe. <laughs> the creature is within view. Switch to formation two. What? What's happening here? From the last battle, we were able to anticipate this attack. We are positioning... We are positioning this way for a reason. What do you mean? Oh god, they are sacrificing themselves so that Aya can get close. We will act as your shield so that you live to attack the creature. What? No! I'm not doing this without your... I saw this coming. We're entering firing range. Prepare to attack. All right. Please move away from me. Now! We cannot abandon our duty. Besides, we are already within range. They, they are sacrificing themselves so that she has a chance. This is insane! Since Christmas Eve, I've put a curse on my own body! Why me? Why is this happening to me? I... I don't understand! But... I don't care anymore! Cause Eve... I'm the one that can... That can destroy you once and for all! Maya, I'll end this and let you rest peacefully! <laughs> Come on, Aya! Give her hell. Was that it? Yeah, I'm really getting Ghostbusters 2 vibes here. <laughs> Because, you know, with the gunk and the Statue of Liberty and all that. Ooh. Ah, yes, it's coming out of your paycheck. You just destroyed the Statue of Liberty. That's coming out of your paycheck, girl. We did it! I personally don't think you did. Well done. That was magnificent. Return to base, Aya. No, it's not over yet. What did I say? Okay. Hello, Eve. Hello, sister. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> Aya, come back, now! It is too dangerous to continue. Return to base at once. We will plan... But... Will you save your progress? Yes. I want to save my progress. Yes, Aya, please, I need to give you... What do you need to give me? Forget it. She signed off already. Are you crazy, girl? Geronimo! <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> uh, 
But guys, this is all the time we have for this. I know we're so close to the end and all that, but we will see each other in the next video. You will be here, won't you? Don't you dare not being here in the next video. And I hope that this video finds you well in body and mind.